What happened on the, the final play? You, you drove in and there was sort of a tie up there. Just from your perspective, what happened? Uh, I don't know. I just remember going up and no call. It was a no call situation. So uh, I just caught the ball, tried to go up as hard as the from the guy clearing and create the contact and get the foul. But uh, just it was a no call and then continued out. I don't think everybody on the floor stopped. Like, everybody expected something, whether it was a jump ball, a foul, or whatever. I mean, yeah, even everybody was shocked, but you got to keep playing. I mean, if the whistle didn't blow, then don't stop. We all just stopped there. I did think the whole the whole arena, everybody in this gym was shocked at the no call. So that was pretty much it. There were some other games earlier this season where you guys were playing well in a lot of facets, but there would always be one thing that kind of held you back. Is it frustrating to have another one of those games and for it to be the turnovers, which is something that you guys have been making some progress with? Definitely, because uh, we've really been taking care of the ball these last couple of games, the games that we've been winning. And um, you come on the road and you have 23 turnovers, you're not going to win anywhere in the Big Ten. You might, you're not even going to win at home you have 23 turnovers. And, <clears throat> and uh, we handled... We handled this press really good in the first half, and then just to come out what we did in the second half, our focus just wasn't there. We weren't passing and catching, and we were just turning the ball over. We are just making mental mistakes, things that we handled well the first half, we didn't handle well the second half. Just how crushing, that might be overstatement, but how how big of a deal was it when you know they get the ball stuck in the rim and they, they have the possession? And... Uh, that really hurt because I think we had a momentum for a little bit, and we had them routed and, uh, just on that comeback. but. That shouldn't even matter because we can't even put ourselves in that position. Um, we just got to take care of the ball. We got to do better. They come out and we have like a stretch, just a 10 minute stretch where we don't score, maybe score two points if that, uh, eight or nine turnovers. I mean, you can't do that, especially not on the road. Uh, so that, that stretch is what really killed us. You guys had the momentum coming out of half. I mean, AJ got that and one right before half. You guys had come back from an eight point deficit. So what's kind of going on mentally with the team during that stretch at the start of the second half? I mean, how much of just sort of a momentum shift was it when, when they took over like that? Um, it was a huge, especially when you let the crowd get into it. When you let a home crowd get into the game, it, it, it feels you as a, a player. And um, we, we generated their offense a lot in the second half. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't really make them play half court defense. We let them do what Minnesota wants to do, what Coutinho wants to do, which is force turnovers and get get easy layers, get fouled, and get to the line. And we just. We just turned it over. We didn't pass and catch, and they just got to the line, and they did what they wanted to do. You had a big first half. Did you feel sort of challenged by getting put on the bench to start the game? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a challenge, but I still got to come out and be aggressive still. And um, I just feel like uh, I just wasn't being as aggressive as I was in the first half. And I uh, just got to do better. I got to help my team out more, even if it's not scoring. It's just it's, it's little things as far as rebounding, take care of the ball. None of us took care of the ball well today. We all had at least two or three turnovers, not more. So um, that's just one of the things we have to really focus on. We've been doing good at turnovers and not rebounds. Now it's the opposite. Uh, we just got to get, we just got to get to a time where we get everything balanced. Once we get all everything balanced, we'll be a tough team. But until then, we're going to keep having these problems. It kind of surprised you how everything sort of went south with the turnovers today, because you had been doing a pretty good job of it uh, for the better part of the, the recent Big Ten season. It really did. It surprised all of us. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, we just we didn't take care. Of, we didn't do the things that we did in the first half. I mean, we weren't focusing in on catching and passing. We were just throwing lazy passes. We weren't being strong with the ball, and it, and it, it hurt us. And like I said, we had a 10 minute stretch where it, it, was, it was just turnover, 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 and they were just generated. We we're just generated offense for the opposing team. You guys take from this being down big, then making the comeback, just going forward. You have a momentum switch like that where you guys kind of turn it around. What do you take from that going forward? Um, that just shows what kind of team we can be and how good we can be. And we just can't we can't let ourselves get down on the road like that again. Um, we we had a uh, stretch where we were making some big shots. We had guys step up and make some big shots as far as John and uh, Ken doing. And PJ even came in and gave us a little spark. So um, we just, that just lets us know like where we are as a team. Like It's not going to be... We don't have one guy that's just going to be there every night. Somebody else is always going to be willing to step up and make that momentum and have have that guy going for the self offensively. So we just got to, we just got to keep it together as a team and just come out ready for the next game. We have to bounce back.